Hi teachers, this video is going to walk you through some of the ins and outs with GoMath. Um, when you start watching this video, it's important you watch the whole video so that you better understand how GoMath works in the background and what you might want to or not want to post directly in Google Classroom. So I've had some requests for teachers to be able to link GoMath directly in Google Classroom so that families don't have to go in through Clever. Um, parts of that work very well and other parts not so much. So I want to share with you what you can and cannot do with this. So the first thing that you can definitely do is there's now um, a link on the web page that you're watching this video on that is a direct link into Think Central. So if you were to post this link in Google Classroom, it would automatically sign students into Think Central. So let's say I have this posted in Google Classroom and I ask students to go to this, this will sign them into their Think Central dashboard. So pasting this link here, I hit enter or students click on this in Google Classroom, and then it automatically takes them into their dashboard. From here, they would need to click on things to do in order to see any assignments that you had given them. So this is probably your best format because this format with this link will then give them access to all their materials working within Think Central. You'd obviously want to make sure that you provide directions for families on once they click this link, they click things to do, and then you'd want specific directions on what they need to click in the things to do section in order to get into their work. You may also want a tutorial walking through one of those assignments so that families better understand how they work. The second request I got from some teachers is they wanted to post direct links to the assignments within GoMath. So some assignments, um, actually a lot of assignments will not work this way. The one exception is Math on the Spot because Math on the Spot is not collecting any data on how students are doing, you can link directly to a Math on the Spot video. To do this, you would pull up the Math on the Spot video that you want, highlight this entire link, and then post this entire link in Google Classroom. So if I go to that entire link in Google Classroom without being signed in to go Math, the video will come up and I can watch the video. However, if I am not signed in to go math and I try to post a link directly to an interactive student edition or um, a link directly to personal math trainer, I end up with a few issues. So I wanna show you what happens if we use the ISD. pulled up the ISC, it's got a unique link, I put that link. Properties to explain patterns on the addition table. Okay, it's done talking. I post this direct link in Google Classroom. And at first, I think I'm good to go. Wow, students can click on it and open it. They can start to click through the activities. Things look like they're rolling. Is the, now until they get here. With the personal math so trainer. when they click on the personal math trainer, because the personal math trainer is collecting data on how the students do, so that you can respond, because they're not logged into Think Central, it tries to send them to the sign in page of Think Central. This is a major problem because we don't sign in using the screen anymore. And so students need to have logged into Think Central first. So Please, if you're looking to post direct links to GoMath in your Google Classroom, use the generic login with Google link, or you can link directly to the Math on the Spot videos. 
Um, and then once in there, you need to post the actual assignments and assign the work in Think Central. And this isn't because uh, we don't want students to be able to do this and we want them to access through Clever. It's literally because we cannot make it work. Um, and I wouldn't want families to be met with frustration when they click on personal math trainer and then they haven't signed in and it's prompting them to sign in on a screen that they can't even use. So just a couple of notes. If you have questions, reach out. But this will help you hopefully better utilize Think Central within Google Classroom.